my tornado movie. You will be learning about tornadoes, water spouts, and a little bit of hurricanes and fun facts. Hope you enjoy. Now we're going to talk about tornadoes. In order to have a tornado, you need falling pressure, warm moist air, cold dry air, and wind. Then you have a tornado. But first, most of the time you need flat land, but there have been times when um, tornadoes have been recorded happening in the mountains, but they are most likely to happen on flat prairie land and um, low flat land. And um, the, mostly only big strong ones can happen in the mountains. One question most people usually ask is, can people be sucked up into, into tornadoes? In fact, actually they can't. You may see like movies like Twister or something when people can act, look like they get sucked up, but that's all just wrong. You um, can only just get spun around in them and then um, it'll just throw you off into some place other than where you just were. There's only one um, recorded time when that happened. It was 1931, I think May 1st in Kansas, when a man got into a tornado. He was spun around and he was thrown off. And the thing that he did, he survived. But as soon as rescuers um, tried to help him, he died shortly after that. There's something called the eye of a tornado. It's the most calm place in or in and around a tornado because there's nothing of because the winds they just go around around the tornado but inside it's like a vortex and there's nothing in there it's like it can be calm and sunny inside um, a tornado but around it it's really just gonna kill you pretty much in the Midwest United States there's something called Tornado Alley those are where most um, tornadoes in the world happen most. That's because there's warm, moist air coming up from the Pacific Ocean in Mexico, and there's cold, dry air coming up from Minnesota and Canada. They clash together. There's a bunch of wind coming in. There's falling pressure because they both collide, and that goes down like that. And so that's where most tornadoes come, in Oklahoma, Texas, and the Midwest United States, like I said before. Did you know? Tornadoes can range in diameter from 3 feet to 2 miles. That's huge and small. Most Americans think that dirt devils are actually tornadoes. They really aren't because all they need is just wind blowing some loose dirt around and you have a dirt devil. With tornadoes, as you know, it's a lot more complicated. Now I'm going to talk about something called the Vegeti scale. It's a scale that measures the strength of tornadoes. The F-Zero would just move around like um, like an SUV or something, which is a type of car. But the F5, um, it just like tears down houses, takes out foundations, all the whole shebang, I'm telling you. Now, F6 has never been recorded before, but it's um, said if it happens, it's going to um, produce extreme damage. It's going to take down steel buildings. If it got near the Empire State Building, it would knock it down in three seconds flat. Now that's a strong tornado. Water spouts pretty much have the same characteristics as tornadoes, but they just occur over water. So there's really pretty much no difference between um, water spouts and tornadoes. Just, um, they just suck up water and they turn blue. That's about the only difference. Oh, and the, the reason why tornadoes get their reddish color or gray or black color is the color of the soil. Like, if they're going over uh, a desert, then, um, then uh, the soil will probably be red since sand is red. If they're going over like farmland, it'll probably be brown and green since there's like farms and like plants and stuff and the soil's rich. If they're going over like prairie land where there's pretty much no plants, then the soil will probably be, I mean, the tornado will probably be black. And um, that's where they get their color. Hurricanes are alike with tornadoes because they also have an eye, but they're more dislike tornadoes than they are alike. Because hurricanes can form tornadoes, but tor tornadoes cannot form hurricanes. And hurricanes, um, they're a lot bigger <laughs> and a lot stronger than tornadoes and can do a lot more damage. Um, also, they have a bigger, wide 
wider um, diameter and span because um, some of the biggest hurricanes are can be like a quarter of the size of Florida and the biggest um, tornadoes can be only like two miles wide so there's a big difference between hurricanes and tornadoes so yeah they're a lot more different than they are alike okay that's my video about tornadoes um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope you learned something bye